that is chromatin. What is chromatin? Chromatin is the fiber-like structure which consume the DNA and the genetic materials that is DNA plus histone protein and non-histone proteins made the fiber-like structure which is called the chromatin. The oldest theory that is every chromosome can be by the homologous part of fiber is called chromatin. But every chromatin is coiled by the homologous part is the single part is called chromonimata. And chromonimata are made by the fiber -like structure that is chromatin. Each and every chromatin made by the DNA, RNA and the histotactic or non histotactic proteins. Now, the old hypothesis, what is the making substances of chromatin? That is, I think here. This chromomere chromomere and this region is called inter chromomeric region. So, all the chromia is consumed by the DNA and the proteins and the other part is linked in between two chromia is the linear part of DNA. But the a modern hypothesis is changed by the great scientist Roger Kornberg. Roger Kornberg first evolved the theory of nucleosome. Nucleosomes can show us how the chromatin is made. Nucleosome. How the nucleosome is made? Now I discuss. Nucleosomes made by two separate parts. That is core particle. Linker part. Core particle made by the core DNA and histone octamer. Histone octamer made by the H2A dimer. H2 B dimer, H3 dimer, H4 dimer. All of the histone protein make the octamer of histone part. That is the core part. Linker part is linker DNA and linker histone that is H1 histone. Now I represent the diagram of nucleosome model by Roger Kornbach. Now
that is the model of nucleosome which is coined by the scientist Roger Kornbach that is core particle here it is core particle which made up of the core DNA and the histonotoma it is core DNA it is core DNA and H to A H to A the histone to A dimer H3 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 dimer H2 B H2 B H2 B dimer H4 H4 dimer total four type of histone proteins make the core particles each of the histone proteins consume their dimer situations and produce the core particles and also make bonding the core histones with the core DNA after starting the core particle to goes into the next core particle there are each one histone is present and the starting of next each one histone is present all of the positions is same it is the model of nucleosomes coined by the scientist Roger Convert. So, promoting fibers is made this type of structure that is the DNA and the histone proteins make these substances. Now, what is the diameter of this? When this part is made the diameter is start the 10 nm that is nanometer when the diameter is 30 nanometer it is called the solenoid and when it is diameter reach into 300 nm it is called super solenoid model now I discuss about the uh, promoting structure of promoting. Now, another type of promoting I discuss here that is eucomatin and heterochromatin. Eucomatin and heterochromatin. What is eucomatin? Eucomatin, the percentage of DNA found in eucomatin is 70 percent. But in heterochromatin, the DNA percentage is only 30 percent. Eucomatin, in interface, all the cells source that two type of cell phages that is interphage and multiple phages interphage interphage and multiple phage interphage and multiple phage In interphase, the eucromatin shows the less person that is negative. In heter and in multiphase, eucromatin gathered plus positive. Acting and the heterochromatin in interphase it is 
positive and multiplied is negative. What is positive and negative sign? I repeat here. What is positive and negative? In Eucumatin, in the interface, the Eucumatin shows their minimum positions, but it is maximum when it goes into the multiplex. It is the significant of plus minus divisions. All the position is opposite into the heterogomatin. When the interface it shows the maximum, but when the multiplex it is shows the minimum of their now, heterochromatin is two types, that is constitutive and facultative. What is constitutive? Constitutive cons consistency is more than the facultative part of heterochromatin. It is so persist part of heterochromatin. It cannot change one phases to another phases. Always shows the stable features as eucomatin. All the Y chromosomes is shows this type of phases but in female bodies there are two sex chromosomes that is xx one and the male bodies is xy one x is relevant to another x but it is not the relevant of y next x is so inactive and after the fuel pigment in fact, this part it is shows the nucleolus oriented zone as the stable part of X chromosome. The scientist uh, Mori Bar shows it is the bar body. So, heterochromatin is the type of the faculty heterochromatin is the type of heterochromatin which changes their mode from interface to shell division phase or the one part to another part at the previous generation to next generation. Now, chromatin fibers can make the chromosome either huge or so small or the normal structures the huge norm structure of chromosome for the consume of a story of huge division of promoting fibers make the giant st giant structure of chromosome that is called polytin chromosome polytin Chromosome. It is found the dictator order insect that is Drosophila melanogasters. Larva the gland of saliva where this type of polyton chromosome is found. The structure of polyton chromosomes I discuss here. the polyethylene chromosomes. 
that the dark band so the light band all the commutator commutin fibers are mix the giant body of these chromosomes and this is the path region path and the dark band and light band make the ring structure is called the bolivian ring is found the salivary gland chromosomes of the larva of drifted orders insects that is drosophila melanogasters now another giant or polyploid chromosomes i put here that is lambda chromosome lambda chromosome lambda chromosomes are that is a lamp and uh, when it is dark by the consume of carbon then it is replaced by the brass it is called lamp brass the structure of chromosome is similar in this type of brass is called lamp brass chromosomes it is found only the oocyte of frog and the primary site of fog fish bark etc now <coughs> after the pigmentation of chromatin we know about the structure and the pigmentation of this chromosome chromosome means chroma means the pigmented part and soma means the body so the chromosomes part which made the chromatin is called chromonemata chromonemata made by the fibrillar structure is chromatin <coughs> chromatin are pigmentation process adopted by the pigment when it is dark it is another type of view and when it is the light is another type of views the pigmentation form of chromatin fibers are dark and light total range of this type of pigmentation is called heterophenosis hetero pigmentosis hetero pigmentosis it is two types negative and positive negative heterophenosis and positive heterophenosis what is hetero negative positive a negative heterophenosis when the heterochromatin the amount of heterochromatin is a greater than euchromatin heterochromatin greater than euchromatin is and shows the structure is called this heterophenosis is called negative but when the euchromatin is greater than heterochromatin this type of heterophenosis is called the positive heterophenosis now we learn about the gene what is the gene gene is the part of nucleotide or the combination of nucleotides 
which produces the certain protein or code of protein which makes the enzymes out which carries the certain information from one generation to next generation. It is called gene. The modern concept of genes I defined here. That is one. A recon. Two. Cistron. Three. Muton. Four. Replicon. Etc. What is a recon? The, the smallest part of DNA which act at the crossing over the smallest part of the DNA which hold the crossing over of chromosomal divisions. What is cistron? Cistrons is the functional unit of the DNA or gene. The functional unit of genes is called cistron, muton. The DNA part where the mutation can hold or mutation capability acted part of DNA is called mutant. A replication, replicant, replicant always says, shows that the replicate replicon. It is the part of gene or uh, the replication process is adopted. Now, we learn about the some type of genes that is oncogenes, oncogenes, lethal gene, Hollandic gene, X linked gene, and pseudogenes. Selfish gene, etc. What is oncogene? Those type of genes can cause of cancers. It's called oncogenes. The lethal genes, those genes, when exposed in our bodies, then we can source our death capabilities. Now, lethal genes is the genes by which the expression of these genes, the organisms can die. Hollandian genes, the genes that control the activation of Y chromosome and it is found in Y chromosomes that is the boldness the boldness of male human and the hair found in the pina of the only the male X, X linked gene sorry X linked gene is found in X chromosome that is it is causes the hemophilia color blindness diseases pseudogenes those type of genes found is RNA and it cannot act as the portion of heart and selfish genes these genes found at DNA, but it cannot take place at the act of crossing over and it cannot choose the replicant processes. So, all of the genes are found. That is, another gene is autosomal genes. Autosomal gene, which is found in the autosome, that is the somatic chromosomes.
have I left these classes. Goodbye.